Hello everyone, this is Steve Jackson from Printables Warehouse, and today I'm going to do something a little different than what I normally do. Uh, I'm going to be working with Adobe Illustrator. I've got CS 5.5 open here, and I'm going to show you how to work with graphics and set up a cut line in Illustrator. So, the way I've got Illustrator opened up here, I've got several dockers. I've got uh, my color docker up here, my color palette for the Roll Inverse Works colors. I've got my Pathfinder docker and my layers. We're going to use all of these within Illustrator to work with the logo that we have here. I've got a logo with a simple outline on it, black all the way around. And then I've got one with a bunch of different colors all the way around it. And then one more here with a bunch of different animals and different shapes and sizes. So we're going to work with these three graphics very quickly and show you how to set it up and work with the different tools to make a cut line around it. So with this eagle right here, uh, one of the easiest ways I've found to do this with an illustrator is we'll start off with everything on the same layer. All my graphics are in this layer right here. I can open that up and see all the different objects in there. But I'm going to go ahead and close that layer. And I can drag this down to this little icon down here. This one says create new layer. And when it creates that new layer, it'll, it'll copy everything that I had in the original layer there. So I'll grab this, left click, drag it down to create new layer and let go. And now I've got all those objects right there in this new layer. So the original layer with my logo in it, I'll lock that one. And now this layer up here, I can select everything in there. So I'll take my, my pick tool and select it all. And now that they're all selected there, those are different objects. Let me show you that uh, I could just have that one piece right there and move it around. So we'll put that back. But there are a whole bunch of different objects. They're ungrouped. So I'll grab all these guys right here. And what I'm going to do now is use the Pathfinder. On the Pathfinder, they have this tool called Unite. It's very similar to um, Weld in Corel. And I'll click on that. And it unites all of that there. And we can see it's given it this orange fill right in there. And this is my fill color. And that's my outline color. In Illustrator, we can switch in between them this way. So for the fill, I want no fill. And then on the outline, I'll switch over to my outline color by clicking that there. I can come down to my Roll and Verse Works, and I've got my Cut Contour color. And I'll click on that. And now I've got that Cut Contour all the way around it. It's a single point stroke, so I could adjust that if I wanted to. And um, tell it what type of line and everything. So this graphic right here is ready to go. If I zoom in on it, we can see our cut line right around the edge of it there. And this was a fairly easy graphic to work with because it was a single color all the way around. And there should have been no real issues with it. But this one is ready to set up and send over for print and cut. Now, on the second graphic I have here, it's a little bit more complex because I have different colors all around the outside. And then I've got this, actually an interesting thing going on with this red triangle piece right here, this arc right there. So if I do the same thing here, I grab that whole layer and I bring it down and create another layer. I'll lock the first one that I was working with and then I'll select everything here and go to my Pathfinder and do the Unite in there. We'll see that it does a pretty good job but it, it didn't get that little slice right in here on the arc. So that's not what I want to do. I'm going to hit Control Z to put that back. So what I need to do is start off by taking this portion here, these two circles, and I'll hold down Shift and get the other one. So now I've got those two circles right there, and I'll Control-Z, put it back. And this one I'm going to do the, the, the minus front. Now I've got that single arc there. I got rid of that, that circle around there that was doing a, a kind of a clip or a trim in there. So visually it looked good, but it wasn't its own path. There were two separate circles in there. And now when I select everything on here and do my Unite again, I can see that I've, I've kept that portion right in there. And it's gone all the way around everything on here, and I have it just the way I want. So again, I'll go to my fill color and give it no fill. And then I'll go to my outline color and click on my cut contour. And when we zoom in on this guy, let's hit Z and zoom in, you'll see that I have a nice cut line going right around it there. And it, it looks a little thick. It's actually right on the edge there. If I select that one and I take it from one point down to, say, 0.25 point, Oh, hadn't selected it, so let's select it there, and we'll take it down to 0.25 point. You'll see that it is right indeed on the edge. If I zoom in on this real tight, you'll see it's right on the edge of the graphic there. So now we've taken this graphic, and I'll, I'll unlock that layer there, and I've got this one set up for print and cut as well. I've got that cut line going all the way around the outside. Uh, again, I'll select that top layer, make it a little thicker so you guys can see it a little easier on the screen, and we'll zoom into an area so you can see it on there 
And indeed, there's that cut line, that pink line going around it, all the way around that whole area. So not too difficult on this, very similar to how we would do things in Corel. Uh, come to the last one here, all these different animals, and say we'll pick the, the penguin here, we'll work with him. Another way you can do this, I only want to do this portion here, so if I copied that whole layer down over, I, I'd be copying everything on there, and I don't necessarily want to do that. So on this graphic, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the, the penguin portion right here, and I'll do Control C. So I made a copy, and then in Illustrator, the shortcut to paste it right back on top of itself is not Control V. If I did Control V, it pastes it offset a little bit. So we're going to not do that. It is Control Shift V, and that pasted one directly on top of it. If I move it to the side, you'll see it was right on top of it. Well, this one on top here, I'll do the same thing. I'm going to do my Unite. So it's got it all as a single path. My fill was white right there. My outline has nothing, so I'll go to the fill and give it no fill and then go to my outline and pick the rolling cut contour. And if we zoom in on this guy, you'll see that we have our cut line right around the outside of it there. So not too difficult to do, fairly easy. Um, but if you've never done it before, and if you've tried different ways of doing it, this seems to be the easiest for me. It's not as simple as the three-step method that I do in Corel, but I, I still think it's pretty easy to work with. And that's a quick tutorial on how to add those cut lines around a graphic in Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you at the next one.